Rachel Bia Bele, I'm a YouTuber from Worry Delta State, Nigeria. Yes. Okay, um, I shoot about faith, lifestyle, but pretty much I hope to help um, single Christian ladies and guys alike um, live a life that's pleasing to God. And by pleasing, not just with their sexuality, with their life generally, their jobs, their careers, their family, their health, and so on <clears throat> and so forth. So today, aha, today, today, today is the day. We're going to be talking about, uh, I, I want to talk about things that Christian girls wished Christian guys knew about life, about relationship, about sex, about stuff, and things that Christian boys wished Christian girls knew. I wanted to make it one video, but it was going to be too long, and I'm I'm trying to really make my videos 10, 12 minutes, last, last 15 minutes, you get, uh, even that 15 minutes, yeah. So I just said, okay, I'm going to do it into two parts. So today, we're going to talk about eight things Christian girls wished Christian boys knew, and the next episode, we'll talk about eight things in the Christian boys wish Christian girls knew. So let's get right to it. Now, I want to first of all, first of all put a disclaimer out there. <coughs> We're not asking for perfection. And by we, I mean on both ends, the girls, the guys. We're not asking for, we're not trying to create somebody. We're just trying to, these are things that we wish you put a little more effort into because they matter. While, uh, now on behalf of the girls, and even the guys, while speaking in tongues and being word, word talking and you know sharing rema and being the prophetic man of God and woman of God I like is is great. It's in fact it's a, it's a prerequisite. We won't be having this conversation if you are not there. But that is good. There are also some other things that that are important because we're in the flesh. We are spirit people. We are spirit who live in a body. Like there is this, and we must acknowledge that this is it's part. It join. Do you understand, guys? So, we must take care of our soul and our body too. So, here are eight reasons that some, some I, I, I got things from my own experience and myself. Others I curated from, you know, opinions of other people that I asked on my WhatsApp. I mean, a whole lot of Christian girls wished Christian guys buffed up. Mm. Put in some effort, guys. Like, look, be clean and nice. That your tongue talking and what speaking doesn't mean that you can be fine. You can't be. You can't smell good. Can we, hallelujah. Can we talk about that? Amen. Guys, stop smelling. We can't pray for three hours together in church. And when we are done praying, God, the place is oozing. Your anointing is strong. Please, have only spiritual anointing. Don't have body odor anointing. I think that a lot of our guys can do more. Can do more to smell better, to look better, to look more clean, to look, look more put together. Like, please, it's, it's, it's an appeal to you. Just try. Buy deodorant. Shaw, Nivea, Megzona. Just shave up and then spray it would help you a lot even if you don't do a body mist or a perfume if that's all you do it will help yeah okay number two thing that christian girls wish christian boys knew and would do better is be financially stable and by that guys i don't mean that have a range rover when you are not there yet there's a place i mean for where you are have a plan don't leave it to the lord I mean, do you understand? Faith is not faith is not a business plan. Hope is not a strategy. Have know what you're about. Even if it means where you are now is thirty thousand you're earning. Let's like be about something. So I, I'm we're not, I'm we're not saying I'm not saying this in a bit to say um have money so that a girl can rest on you. No, I'm just saying for your own self. Like poverty is not synonymous to Christianity. God does not want us to be poor. Of course, if you don't follow financial principles, you won't be you won't be rich. If you speak in tongues for ten hours, it doesn't equate to money. If you don't uh, apply wisdom, do you understand? If you don't have insights from the ten hours of tongue speaking that you have done, so guys, don't 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 leave it to chance. I think we have a lot of Christian people, guys and boys are, are, are like actually they just leave their finances, their financial growth to chance. They just. Faith is not a business plan. I think I said that somewhere recently. It's not. Have a plan, guys. So number 
three things that Christian girls wished Christian boys knew is be confident. Confidence is attractive. Like, just know your onion, know your stuff. Confidence would open doors for you that talents wouldn't, that a lot of things wouldn't. I've seen guys that, unbelieving guys, even some believing, some believers that are not necessarily physically fine, like they're not really physically fine, but they are confident. They're so confident that you overlook their, their bad character sometimes, sometimes. You don't get away with it all the time. But I'm saying that confidence can get you to places. Confidence can do a lot for you. Like, be confident. Know who you are and whose you are. And in fact, that even, that even boils down to your, um, to your work with God. If you know who you are, you know the realities that Christ's work on the cross brought you. It's a different confidence with which you come out. Come out with square shoulders, shoulders tall, and you know, do the things that you're doing. Speak up, be decisive, be be firm, open your mouth and talk. No, don't slouch. And, and, and I mean that physically and you know, and psychologically. Be more confident, be bold. Do you get me, guys? Pursue what you want, be able to speak up for yourself. Number four thing that Christian girls wished Christian guys knew. Christian girls wish that Christian guys were street smart. Like, just know the area, guy. Like, just be able to find your way around. Be able to make things work. It's not enough that you are very spiritual, you're a pastor, you're a man of God, you're a worship minister, and then maybe you make good grades in school, and you, are, you know, maybe you have a good job. Be street, like, be street savvy, be street smart. Like, it's, it's good to know that I'm with someone that has my back. Don't, don't be, I don't want to be with you and, and I mean, I know, and this is not me also trying to say, um, want to, you should be the one we should depend on for strength and all, no, but just be street savvy, be street smart, especially if you want to date this lady, like, come on, come on, all that you know cannot be speaking in tongues. I remember the first official date I had with the boyfriend, um, well, we had gone on like two other dates, but this was, you know, uh, we just went out, like, just to talk and yeah, just talk and just so this was like an official date that we ended up getting money for food that was overly pricey. Okay, so as we're saying, <laughs> anyway, we if you know what we very well, Ekman and Japa Junction, they're quite volatile. Anything can happen, like two seconds, boom, everyone scattered. So we were at Ekman, uh, we're coming from Airport Road and we stopped. They were taking Nakeke to go to Roundabout. Yes, I think so. And then all of a sudden, we, we had boom, like. It was a loud noise. I don't know that it was banger or gunshot or knockout or whatever. Sharp people stay running. KK guys that were that were packed and loading. They just everybody just there moving. Sharp, you hear the gist tomorrow. What happened? You don't wait to hear the gist. And um, if I were if I was alone or not even if I was alone at that point in my head like okay what can I do? I have a friend that sits around the Uche and I'm like okay and leave the road and enter that side. Call Uche. Uche will pick you up inside the corridor. Eko is like, you know, I don't know what it is. Eko is a backyard of his house, something like that. Uh, and I, so I, 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 was, I was with someone, so of course I had to, I'm like, okay, so um, what's up, what do we do? I said, don't worry, um, you are with me, we will be fine. Then he holds my hand, grab, he holds my hand, like holds it, and then we start to walk faster out of the road. I had a plan in my head also that I was going to share, okay, can we do this? So you see how I gave two, two scenarios. I was not really dependent on him on, how do we live here? I already had a plan. But I was with him and it was good. It was reassuring to know that he was confident. And I'm not even saying he wasn't scared. We're both, we're both probably frightened. I don't, he was probably frightened because it's Ekman, guys. Things happen in Ekman Junction. But the confidence and the streets, it takes a level of street savviness and, you know, and confidence to be able to be in that kind of thing and still keep your calm. Do you understand, guys? So be street sense. Know your no no area. That's all I can say. Know the people in your area. No boys. No no some kind of boys. It's going to come in handy. Be romantic. See, Adam saw woman and he became a poet. Only wow, bones on my bone, flesh on my flesh, woman on my woman. But you know what I'm saying? See, guys, be romantic. See, if you don't know, start from Songs of Solomon. I know Songs of Solomon is about Jesus Christ, but that's what marriage is about. That's what love is about. Jesus Christ. Start from there. 
Don't tell me to join this chariot of fire. What, what are you? To ask me out like that. Don't come with them. See, I don't, you know the funny lines that you do. Please, be, be, be romantic. I'm going to make a video on like dates, romantic dates. I'm in the book, 52 romantic dates you can do as a um, dating, Christian dating couple. Maybe I'll share with you guys later. But guys, think, just put some effort into it. A little bit of effort will work, you know? So number six thing that girls want you to know is, um, okay, this flows from, now you see this point I want to make guys, I might even make it a full video, it depends on how long it, it, it spans, just this point, because it's very important to me. Be intentional and consistent. Like, I'm even angry about this, but I'm calm now because I'm forgiving all of you all. Guys, don't be canoping sisters. Don't be here today and nowhere tomorrow. If you like a sister and you're very sure, like you're quite, you're sure that, okay, I want to do this, speak out, talk to your spiritual authorities, who you need to talk to as church authority, get all of the official stuff along the way and go straight to the point. Be intentional and deliberate, same thing, and consistent about your feelings. You can't be giving her vibes of today, I like you, tomorrow you don't call her for 10 weeks. Next more people are speaking for 10 hours. After that, she doesn't see. What's that? Truth is, it is happening. So if you are in this place or you know someone, please show them this video. Be intentional about your your um, your intentions. <laughs> this is a twitch. If you don't like her, it's fine. Don't give her the vibe that you do. You can walk away. Nobody lost. Now, I'm going to tell you a short story. I hope it's short. When I was in law school, I liked somebody. And he liked... I think I thought he liked me too, yeah. And it was if it, it, you know it it there was it, it clicked the box. I'm like, oh, okay, let's see how it goes. But we should chat, we should talk, we used to stroll together. We don't used to read together. I did used to read, but he used to read that used to drag me to go and read that kind of thing and stuff. And but I realized that I was putting in more energy. I was doing more of the work, more of the okay. If if I reach out, we will be fine. We can talk for hours. If I don't reach out, we we'll probably not. I not talk or once in a while, I might just do a random call. So I realized that it was here and there, here and there. And I've had a lot of boys do that to me. So I was in a place where <laughs> I'm not even about it. Someone told my friend to, uh, that, are you sure this boy likes your MD? Because I was the MD of the choir of chapel then. Like, it was like she's throwing herself on him. And of course, because if, if action is from one person, you always look like that, boy or girl. Anyway, I had the com I don't know if we had the conversation, I can't remember, but I shall just told him that you see this, it can't work. I've been I've been here before, I know about this life. So we actually went our separate ways. He even asked someone else out or he liked someone else and they were. Anyway, I was happy for them. Fast forward to this year when I started my channel, I knew I was going to talk about this. So I called him. We we've been civil all, all the while. But I called him and we gisted for long and we said to them, like, what's up? Like, how are you kind of being what was that? Like, I hope you don't do that again. I think that was wrong. I just want to, you know talk about it and he said really Rachel I liked you as a person I thought that you were there's a word you use I can't remember but he said something about how he thought that I was a great person and he was actually amazed and like he enjoyed our you know our our conversations uh being together but he didn't like me as that kind of a, like he didn't like me enough to ask me out I'm like okay that's fine but you should have given me that vibes I mean we're really close I'm, I'm not imagining it we probably even So, if you judge me, God will judge you back. Anyway, he didn't want to break my heart. Like, as we explained it, he was scared that if he didn't ask me out, I would be angry. So he just hung around. But guess what? That, that's what. So I, I told him, no, if you like a girl and you want to be with her, be with her. If you don't want to be with her, don't give her mixed vibe. Tell her, hey, I like our friendship. I enjoy, I enjoy it, but there's nothing here for me. Let her know from the very start. And this is a this happens too much in the Christian circles. Too much. It's for and girls, if a guy is not saying he likes you, he doesn't like you until he makes his intention known. Walk away. I, see, walk away. This has happened too many times. Now he might like you, but not enough. There's a like and there's a like that is not enough to commit. So if there's no commitment in words, not in action, in words, I want you, we are together, we are working on, move on. So if you're a guy that does that, please, be intentional about your, your feelings. If you don't want her, it's fine, let her know. Don't canopy her. You get, right? Maybe I'll still make that for you. The seventh thing that Christian girls wish Christian guys knew is, 
if we say agree together that we're in a godly relationship that means no sex purity and all of that don't make me be the one keeping the boundaries all the time this will be short this is saying guys you too help with the ladies be keeping boundaries don't be the don't let her not be the one always saying no we can't kiss no we can't you too say no we can't kiss no we can't touch no we can't stay here so enforce the boundaries because a lot of times i realize that why a lot of godly relations that start out to be godly why they break is because the person who's supposed to be in the relationship is what is looking for breast that he wants to touch do you understand so you set the boundaries you say we can't be here we can't talk more set the boundaries you to be a leader no, not only when you're the man of the man of the man of the house. Don't sleep with somebody. Don't look for kiss to kiss. Moving on. Last but not the least, guys. This even happened to me yesterday. It's important, brothers. Hello, and this is even for unbelievers too. But hi, brothers. Don't compliment a. Don't in a bit to compliment one sister. Tear down another sister. If you're going to compliment me, compliment me and leave Joy alone. Joy is my sister. And her name came to my head. Do you understand? Don't come. Oh, Rachel. I, I'm, I'm using the example because I get this a lot. Oh, Rachel. Um, I like how natural you are. How you guys, first of all, this natural is laziness that come. I don't have motivation to make up. I can't stress myself. So don't even for me, Rachel is natural. It's laziness. It's no more. If I have motivation now, uh, I would see, I would see eyebrow. Anyway, don't come up to me saying, oh, girls of nowadays, I mean, they're not natural anymore. All they have is fake. What concern me? Like, how does it ask my business? But tell me I'm fine, tell me I'm fine, let it end there. Which is, which one is a uh, bobo Iran? Um, you don't make, you don't do with one. I like with one, I don't want to buy with one. Don't stress me, guy. Sure. I'm actually angry. <laughs> Someone did to me as they got. I don't see girls go out looking unnatural anymore. Are you always like this all the time or just, ah, nigga, I didn't, I didn't do it for you in the first place. It's not for you. Leave me alone. So uh, it, it's so worse if you even do with people that they know. Guys, if you want to compliment a girl that she's natural or she's fine, you like the way she dresses, compliment her. Let it be with her alone. Do you understand? Okay, thank you guys. We've come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Please for, pardon all my shenanigans. If it's your first time of, of, of watching my video, I should have done this at the beginning of the vlog, but I'm still getting used to this. Thank you for coming. It's good to see you. So good. And if you are returned, a uh, returnee watcher thank you you're the real mvp thank you so much guys please subscribe help me grow this thing just subscribe and like that put your hand on the like button if you actually like this video because yeah by the way i didn't show you guys my hair <laughs> i made it myself yeah okay so guys thank you for watching thank you for coming i'll see you next week i think i've said everything bye <laughs> okay, um, I shoot about faith, lifestyle, um, stuff. <laughs> okay, I shoot about, I don't even know what I shoot about. I shall just shoot. Do you understand? Guys, put in a, put, put in, put in some effort. Just a little, a little, just a little.